Carter Community. Hello, everybody. My name is Steve Barcelona, and welcome to Afternoon Astonishments from Condra Community, the world's best magic club. If you don't know that by now, I don't know what to tell you. But uh, this is a show where we dive into the mind-blowing magic performed by the world's top magicians, and we get a lot of them stopping by all the time. I want to say hi to my friend, Alexander Slammer. How are you, my friend? He's going to be joining hey, us today. I am awesome. I'm excited for today. Uh, today, I always love doing afternoon astonishments. It's really so cool to look at this magic, and some of the stuff we're looking at is it's a little bit older, so it's almost like it's brand new for us because, you know, we do a lot of magic here in the club. And, you know, it's it's really fun to look at this magic. So uh, I'm excited for today. That's yeah, it's awesome. awesome. And then, of course, my good friend, Mr. Adam Grace is with us. Yes, I'm here. I'm ready. How, I'm ready. To how are magic. you ready, buddy? This is like our own version of Mystery Science Theater 3000, <laughs> <laughs> except for magic, you know. And joining us today, Mr. Mike Stevens, otherwise known as Good Time Mikey. How are you, Mike? I'm good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. Thanks for joining right. us today. Have so today we are going to watch some magic by pretty much all of our good friend, Mr. Jason Dean, right? Yes. I mean, just Great. a sweetheart of a guy and an incredible magician. I'm incredible. kind of mad that we're showing these these two tricks here because these are two of my favorite personal tricks. And I kind of wish they would disappear into uh, <laughs> into the the void. You know, nobody else would do these tricks. But it's okay. The, the good news is, is if you're not a member, they're going to fool you so bad, you're not going to know how they're done. So it's <laughs> totally fine. These tricks are safe. <laughs> yeah. Good. Good. I hate to be like that, but it's a really good trick. These are some. It's easy. Jason's got top notch material, man. I'm with oh, you yeah. on this, Adam. And he always has. You know, no doubt. Yeah, for years. Like, what are we looking at first? Let's watch uh, it. Yeah, let's just get into it. Just watch it. You're just, you're, you know, it's going to blow our minds. Um, this is, is going to need two people. Uh, maybe oh. Aaron. All right. You want to help? Yeah, we're wrong. Where's Steve at? I'm right here. Sheesh. Would you like to help me, sir? I would love to help you. Um, Aaron, I'm going to show you some cards and Steve's going to help us here in a minute. Okay. And I'm going to show you some cards kind of fast. And I, I just want you to look in here and maybe remember one that goes by, but whatever you do, don't say it because Steve's going to read your mind here in a second. Okay. You have one. Good luck. Yeah. All right. Good luck, sir. <laughs> I didn't know you're going to start already. <laughs> Shit. Now, hopefully. Steve, you weren't looking, were you? <laughs> no. Perfect. Good answer. I want you to look deep in Aaron's eyes and tell him the name of the card he's thinking of. And Aaron, just answer yes or no. Don't name the card. We're, seven of hearts. Were you not looking? <laughs> were, were, were you thinking of the seven of hearts, Aaron? No. No, was he close? I mean, my card was also a rectangle. <laughs> close enough. You know, Steve, it's okay. You didn't get it, but that's not a problem. See, some people are more physical by nature. Some people are mental, not crazy. They think about things. And Steve, you might be a more on the physical side where you physically need to do something to find Aaron's card he's thinking of. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some cards. I'm gonna drop them down to the table like this. And at any point in time, I want you just to say, stop, Steve. Stop. Stop. Now, I wanna give you an option here. Would you like to go one more? No, I'm good right there. Okay, I just wanna be fair. Let's set the card down right here. Now think about this. You could have said stop anywhere, right? Aaron, you have a card in your mind. Free will. You could have thought of any card. You could have said stop on any card. Would you be impressed if Steve found the card that's in your mind? I, I personally would be shocked. Aaron, tell us, what was the name of the card you're thinking of? The Four of Diamonds. Boom. Now, what's crazy, though? What's crazy is that, Steve, you said a card earlier. And I'm not 
Well, I believe you said the seven hearts. Is that right? Mm-hmm. I don't want you to think you missed the, the button here, but what color are all these cards? Well, they're all blue. Yeah, and you would say this is actually a red card, not because it's a heart, but if you look on the other side. <laughs> nice. Man. <laughs> I mean, what a, just a great piece of card magic. You know what I mean? And and not only that, it's Jason, right? It's Jason. It's his style. It's the way he presents it. He's so confident. He knows he's what the outcome is going to be. And he's so slow and deliberate and just confident in every step he takes. It just it adds so much more to this mystery as it builds. And I, I, I love it. I love Jason's style and I love his magic. And I think this is a great example of, the, you know, why I think it's great, man. He's so awesome. So awesome. This is this is what I love about card magic, right? It's not, that wasn't a card trick. That was magic. One thing turned into another thing and then another thing turned into something else. Right? So it's not just like I picked a card and here it is. Right? It's like actual magic happening. And he has such a disarming, deliberate style. That's how I would describe him. He's like disarming. He's very deliberate. You know, there's no fast talking or anything. He just blows your mind. <laughs> you know what I mean? I forgot all about that the the second phase of that i didn't i forgot that there was a color change in there i can't right. I couldn't remember that at all and guys you're watching that if you're watching that trick right there you're thinking well what was it you know I, I might know how it was done if steve had said he wanted him to cut another section then he would have cut another section that it's it's truly is a free choice there at the end um so you know that wasn't some just out of tarbell force no that was uh that was crazy good magic actually what's up steve i was just gonna say uh, yeah. in just yeah. a completely uh self-serving moment where do we learn that one in the back room it's <laughs> <laughs> like sure, I, that one right there i have to go look I, I, I don't even think it's in the back room actually i think we oh, uh, it's like one of those secret ones we did. Uh, we'll talk later steve we'll talk later I'll help you. all right edit that part out there producer <laughs> No, it really, okay, it's in the back room. It's called uh, One Hand, no, sorry, that one's not called One Hand to Rule Them All. That one is called um, free, Choose Free Will. Oh, Choose Free Will. Yeah, and uh, it is in his, um, you know, his, well, he did an epic living room lecture for us last year, and it was just killer. It's full of this kind of stuff, just really practical, practical material. Uh, and, and something to be said about this routine is that it's sort of modular. All those things that you saw can be tools that you apply to other magic that you do. Uh, it's really like mm -hmm. sort of a series of outs as much as it is this piece of magic. There's a lot going on there. Jason is a great thinker and he's just, you know, he gives you a lot of avenues to really play with these ideas so that you can sort of wring out every drop as it were. It's it's really great. Really great. A fun trip. You know how, Mike, have you ever met Jason? um no i don't think i have well you will you'll meet him at the summit we'll, we'll get him to come back to the summit again he usually comes every year and and the fr i remember the very first time i ever met jason he did a trick he had me pick a card i put it back in the deck then he caught he he did like a card catch but he used a, uh, his nipple ring oh. <laughs> it was like oh. what and it was embedded the card was like stuck through there like i saw the ring before and then he like waved the cards over and then it was my card was actually like embedded through the ring it was really crazy good good stuff or maybe it was a lip ring i'm thinking no no no. Lip ring. no 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 you got it exactly right i did okay it is exactly right yes it is right. a it was, trick that's how i met the guy i was like well nice to meet you <laughs> well this next one funny that you say that is sort of along those same lines effect wise in that it's in an impossible location but it's an impossible location that the rest of us mere mortals would actually uh use <laughs> so this is this is another great one that's just very disarming and you can have a spectator participate in a very minimal way but you just smack them down with a miracle really straightforward beautiful magic another great one for this one i'm going to stand up briefly uh, but before i do i need to ask um someone a very important question maybe here uh let's do sean how you doing buddy i'm great dude i'm excited can you help me out absolutely uh, would you like to see a trick done with my left hand or my right hand? Uh, are you right-handed or left-handed? Very good question. Uh, it depends on what day it is. Let's go left. <laughs> left. So we don't need the right hand. I'm going to put my right hand in the pocket. 
so there's no tricksiness. Um, in the meantime, let me show you something with my left hand. I'm gonna run my finger down the front, just like that. Whenever you want, say stop. Stop. Right there, I'm gonna cut the deck right there. Can you remember that card? Yes, I can. Got it? Yeah. Perfect. Now, watch. It's gone. Isn't that crazy? Look, you can look through all the cards if you like. You can count them and you'll find that there's only 51 cards in this pack. And we're in fact missing one card. Let me ask you another question here. Would you like to see a trick done with my right hand? Yes. <laughs> what was the name of your card, Sean? <laughs> it was the three of clubs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> strong, 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 man. So good. Smacks me. Oh, so good. That's a you guys you, you fooled you, didn't it? If you're watching that right now, you fooled mm -hmm. you. It's good. It's good stuff. <clears throat> so good. He's good. That's really one too. That's that's a special one that I just wish nobody would learn except for me. <laughs> it's really that good. I remember it fooled me really bad too. I was like, what? Yeah, me too, man. I remember being fooled real bad. It's a good one. <laughs> it's a really good one. Yeah, it's like yeah. a genius level trick. That creation is really something else. Again, you know, kudos to Jason. What a what a great magician, great creator. So cool. You know, some of the best, uh some of the best magic is not done the way you think it is or the way you think it should be. It's constructed different. And that's one of those one of the things I like about Jason is he thinks different. He thinks really different. Like he constructs mm -hmm. plots and methods in ways that a normal regular powered magician wouldn't uh so I, I really do look up to the guy um i say we press on let's press on with some some more jason we've got some more we can watch yeah let's do it and i'm gonna be honest uh, normally i would hand these cards out to, to to be shuffled and while they're they're shuffled i'm gonna reach in my pocket and i have something here for you uncle ben good old ben if this goes wrong, this is yours, Aaron. All right. I probably owe, I probably owe you anyway, Summer. So the cards have been shuffled. We'll take those babies back. And something about magicians, gamblers, hustlers, bustlers, movers and groovers, we all have something in common. And is that, that's want to be able to... Um, Find the four aces, no matter how heavily shuffled you just shuffled the deck, right? Uh, but I've set up a little um, challenge. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to peel some cards here. Don't, don't ever say that. I'm going to show you some cards. Say stop, Aaron, anytime you like. Uh, stop. One more right there. One more. Yes, sir. Let's take a look. Hey, that's a three. So what I'm proposing is that in three seconds, normally I'd have you put your finger right on top of that. In three seconds, I'm going to cut to the four aces from the deck you just shuffled. So I need someone to time me. Let me know when it's good to go. All righty. I will time you, friend. You, you want me to have a stopwatch or a timer to four seconds? Yeah, I'm looking for a three. We're going to push uh, it. All right. Whenever you say go, I'm going to find all four aces in three seconds. Ready, set, go. Stop. Oh. I may have broken records today. Two seconds. It's working. Let's Prove see how it. we did. Look, right here, there's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. That's all four eggs. Mm. Great little walk around piece, right? And it's a this is a handling of something that's was sort of an underground thing for a long time. This is a Frank Thompson production that Jason added some really nice finesses too. So it's a it's a really great little piece. I, I'm I'm really impressed by this one. 
you know, I know we can't talk about methods right here on YouTube. I don't know. I mean, every other magic channel does, but we don't. And I'll tell you this, I'm glad that we don't whenever we see tricks like this, because I don't want, I don't want people to really know these, these tricks right here. This is, this is some of the stuff I really like to do. And this trick is is not as hard as it looks either. I mean, it's, it's, it's doable. You know, you guys could learn this and uh, he, he does a great teaching of it in, in his show that he did with us. Um, but I just love that uh, the, you know, the ruse for the ruse for putting that card down there is that it's the number of seconds for the, uh, if the stopwatch to be set, I think that's really clever, you know, cause you kind of forget about that card afterwards and just, mm -hmm. man, there's the callback at the end. It's good. Good stuff. My favorite thing about Jason is his easygoing sort of disarming persona when he's performing. He is so lovable when he's talking to you that you have no idea he's about to fry your brain. Mm. it's awesome it just hits that much harder yeah yep well guys i think that about wraps it up that was a good little show on jason dean and uh and if you don't know who jason dean is look him up he's got a ton of magic online and you can uh you can just really dig into that brain of his um thanks for joining us today uh hey give us a quick follow or subscribe if you thought this was a uh, good good stuff and you liked it and you want to you want to do it more so we'd appreciate that that helps us with the old youtube stuff all right, we'll be back in a couple of days for another Afternoon Astonishment. See you later. Afternoon Astonishments!